my science experiment is an inspir is a flotation device inspired by the roll beetle and the fire ant. Due to global warming, there are longer periods of dry weather and flash floods occurring quite frequently at the end of long dry seasons. So we need to be prepared in case of a flash flood emergency. We need something that is light, thin, and can be stored in cupboards or backpacks. Regular rafts are good, but it is too bulky and is hard to store in our homes. Along with the raft, you would also need a motor in the raft or oars to transport in the raft. In emergency situations, having the flotation plus transporting feature in one device will be very handy and helpful. So I ask the question, how to design a raft that is lightweight, foldable, easy to use as a transport, and is small enough to be put into an emergency kit that is also sustainable and eco-friendly. In order to create this flotation device, I looked at many living creatures to find solutions that exist in the natural world. I used asknature.org, a biomimicry site for this research. The group formation of the fire ants when water floods their nest was very fascinating to me. During flood, if each ant tried to float by itself, it would drown. Also, if the ants clumped together without any gaps, they would still drown. The fire ants actually created a mesh structure by holding onto each other with gaps in between each ant. Through this formation, a very light and super hydrophobic raft is created that helps almost the whole colony survive the flood. So, I chose to create my flotation device that mimics the ant's mesh-like structure. In order to make the device move, I looked at many natural solutions that use the following principles. 1. Create movement without using additional energy. And 2. Use only eco-friendly solutions. While doing my research, I was particularly inspired by the way the roe beetle moves on water. This beetle can walk on water slowly using hair on its leg, and the slime-like solution from its abdomen reduces surface tension allowing it to glide on water. Since I could not find the composition of the slime secreted by the roe beetle, I looked at other ways to change surface tension. I then came up with a hypothesis. I predicted that spreading the spacing of the raft out like a mesh would be better because it would be slimmer and more effective. I also predict that putting salt and soap in water would make the raft move since it changed the surface tension, making a natural motor. In nature, when it manufactures something, it looks for materials in that local area. It doesn't go and bring materials from far off places. So I wanted to adopt this nature's principle and starting, for, starting looking for materials in my own house. I selected two materials, a wooded mat and a bamboo mat for the raft, and two types of materials to make the solution, which is salt and laundry detergent. I tested it, and then I narrowed it down to the best ones based on the results I got. I then proceeded to make my prototype with the wooded mat and the laundry detergent solution. Here is the picture of the prototype I made. I was very happy with the results, and I was able to conclude that the fire ant structure is the strongest and best to float on water. The mesh-like structure uses less material and helps with the mat being light and foldable too. Also, I learned that by mimicking the roll beetle's movement on water technique, which is by slowly releasing a liquid that reduces the surface tension of water, at one side of the mat, in a particular area, causes a natural movement of force from high surface energy to low surface energy. This force pushes the mat forward. By controlling the drips of liquid to reduce the surface tension, the mat can also be used for transportation in the desired direction, which would be a very useful feature in emergency situations.